Hi everyone, Dr. Leanna Sved here with Revive Physical Therapy. I'm a physical therapist who specializes in treating patients with TMD or jaw pain. One of the things that I screen for in my evaluations is airway. TMD can be caused by a restricted airway. So how do I evaluate this in my clinic? I evaluate it with several different measures, but one of them being the Malin Patty score or the Friedman score. The Malin Patty score was designed by anesthesiologists to determine how easy somebody would be to intubate. So how do you conduct this scoring system on yourself? The Malin Patty score requires you to stick out your tongue all the way and then look at the back of your throat. How much of the uvula and throat can you see? So I'll show you. Stick out your tongue. And look back there. How much of my uvula did you see? How much of my throat did you see? Did you see all of my uvula? Did you see all of my throat? Only a portion. I score between a one and two on the Malin Patty score. This means that I have a good airway. Now, if you only saw part of your uvula or you weren't able to see your uvula or your back of your throat at all, you probably scored a three or a four. Scoring a three or a four on the Malin Patty scoring scale can mean that you may have airway involvement in a small airway. The Friedman score is very similar to the Malin Patty score. In fact, the scoring systems are identical. The difference is that with the Malin Patty, you're sticking your tongue out of the mouth to look at the back of the throat. Whereas the Friedman scale, you are keeping your tongue inside your mouth and just opening your mouth wide. There's actually a better carryover for the Friedman scoring system because well, we don't walk around with our tongues out of our mouth, do we? No, we want our tongues at the roof of our mouth. So the Friedman scale is a bit better measure to go off of. So I will go ahead and show you what I would look like doing the Friedman score. As you can see, my throat looks different with my tongue inside my mouth, right? It's taking up a little bit more space than it would be if I was sticking my tongue out. So where I scored probably between a one and a two on the Mountain Patty score, I actually score somewhere between a two and a three on the Friedman score. Now your turn. Go ahead, take a look. What do you score? Do you score one, two, three, four? My recommendation that if you're scoring a three or a four to follow up with your primary care physician, ENT, sleep specialist, or orthodontist about what your next step should be. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Now, if you thought that this video was helpful, please give it a like. And if you think it would help somebody else, please share it. And to stay up to date on all my videos, just subscribe.